Hey friends, thanks for joining me. Let's learn how to use the plasma cutter safely and efficiently. All right, so the plasma cutter, it's a very efficient way to cut metal for our welding. It uses a, what I call the torch or the gun. It has a number of components in here and they are consumable so it uses these consumables it has an electrode and it has an electrode here and it has this tip this cone that's also a consumable so when it stops cutting really well you need to replace some of the consumables. Now, some of these don't need to be replaced that much, like the tip doesn't need to replace, but this, I believe is called the nozzle, and this is the electrode. It needs to be replaced after a certain number of uses. So the more we use it, the better, um, or we better have some consumables waiting so we can replace that. But this is the, the torch. It also has to have a ground connected. If we don't have a ground, it will not cut. So we have to make sure that we are grounded properly. Just like our welding, we have to have a, a proper ground for the plasma cutting because that's what happens. We are shooting an arc of electricity, a plasma arc, through that metal. So what happens is we have to use the air compressor. We have to have air from our air compressor when using this. So many times students will turn this on, they'll get a green light here that says, yep, I'm ready to go. And then they'll get this orange light. That's because it doesn't have air. So you can see the two lights here now this one is nozzle and this one says it's too hot so if you get any of these warning signs please come and get your instructor me and let me fix it this dial dictates what um, amps we're running with so <clears throat> most of the time we're going to leave it up at 30 so we can cut through any material but sometimes it gets bumped sometimes students turn it down and you'll just need to watch that before you start cutting because if you don't need as many amps if you're cutting something very small you definitely should turn it down but for the stuff we cut we're cutting a lot of 3 16 quarter sometimes 3 8 we turn it up and leave it up at 30. so the way this works you'll have your ground clamp connected to the table i put it underneath here and then you have this safety trigger where you need to lift up and then press on that trigger. Now it won't do anything now because I don't have any air. So it's not even gonna work. I have to turn on my air compressor, which is really loud. So we need muffs and then this will work. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the air compressor, let it air up, and then I'm gonna show you how to make some cuts. All right, friends, so like we said, this compressor is loud, so I wear my earmuffs. Now, what you have to have when you run the plasma cutter, you have to have gloves to protect your hands from all those sparks, and you have to have a number five shaded glasses, or you can use your welding hood if you can turn it down to number five, or you can use the oxy goggles that we have hanging here. So you can use any of those, you have to use something. You need to protect your eyes. A lot of times I'll just grab these and put them right over my safety glasses and they'll work fine for doing the cutting. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll make a cut. We'll show you what that looks like and then we'll explain some more things.
Now you hear that? The air is still blowing out of it. So just go ahead and if you tap, tap the trigger again, it'll stop the air. So when you make a cut, it's best to use another piece of metal. If you want a straight cut, it's best to use another piece of metal as a guide that you can just follow along with. Set a piece of metal on there and then just follow along. Now you saw me make a couple cuts. One of those on purpose, I went way too fast and it didn't cut through. It didn't cut all the way through because I went way too fast. So this is not an instant process. Not a lightsaber, wish it was, but it's not. You can't just instantly cut through it real quick. So you have to take the torch or the gun down to the metal, pull your trigger, and then slowly follow that other piece of metal you're using as a guide. If you're freehanding a design, you can do that. Just make sure you're going slow enough that it will cut. Now, like we said, this will cut up to about 3 8 It probably won't cut past that, but you have to go nice and slow. The thinner the material, the faster you can move in it, but it's always best just to go nice and slow. So after you're done cutting, you'll see this stuff right here, this rough stuff. It's the metal that's been pushed through and it kind of welded itself, kind of melted back to this base metal. You don't have to take that to the grinder. You can just take another piece of metal and push it off and it'll come right off. You don't have to take that to the grinder then. Sometimes it just produces a little bit and you can just hit it off with another piece. That way you don't have to spend time at the grinder. But after you do this, you'll want to take it to the wire wheel without your gloves and make sure you get that metal prepped so you can produce a good weld. So remember on this, we need to have our hearing protection, not only for the noise, but for any sparks that could be flying around. We need to have our gloves. I always like to wear an apron, so that way the sparks don't get on my pants. We need to make sure we protect our eyes with at least a number five shade, which are the number five shade of glasses or the oxy goggles. Other than that, this is an amazing machine. It does a lot of work for us. This thing's been in use for uh, quite a few years now and it's still going strong. We're very thankful for it, but we have to protect it. So the one way we protect it is when we're done, we turn off the air compressor and we'll turn off the machine. We also have this little spot under here where we put the torch, the gun, and we don't just throw it around and beat it up. We wanna protect it and prolong the life of our tools. So that's it folks. Remember to be safe when you're using this stuff. Remember to work hard because hard work's its own reward. And thanks for watching.